Hello tubes, this is gonna be a, uh, just a video on doing the rear brakes on my 2019 Honda Ridgeline. Sorry for the background noise. Some neighbors are having uh, some uh, contractors do some work. Um, so I, I was told I have um, about three millimeters left on the pad before they start squeaking at two. So I uh, decided oh, well, it's time to change them. So I am not gonna, I am uh, not gonna, this is a drum and disc brake design. The drums handle the emergency brake. So there's not any special, um, there's nothing special about uh, the, the emergency brake. It's not electronic, so I can just push the uh, pistons back. If you had an electronic one, you may have to use a uh, some sort of scan tool to put it in a certain mode, and or uh, disconnect the the power wires to them. And it, it's really specific to each vehicle; it's a little bit different. If you don't do that, it will you can damage things. I was told. <laughs> Haven't experienced that because I've never had electronic rear brakes, emergency brakes. This is not. This one isn't electronic. So what I got here is uh, some brake lubricant, brake clean, uh, old cookie sheet, brake pads, a bungee cord, uh, tire iron. I actually couldn't get the uh, one of the wheels off. Um, had to use the uh, my jack uh, handle as a, uh, a cheater bar because it, it actually broke my uh, it broke my uh, breaker bar. So I have to go back to Harbor Freight and get a new one for free. Anyway. So I'm going to take off, let me see if I can, yeah, uh, you got to take off this bottom one here on the caliper. This is going to roll up like a clamshell. Then I'm going to support it with some bungee cords. Uh, you can alternatively take the whole thing off and then set the caliper up here. Um, hopefully I won't have to uh, go that way. It is a 12 millimeter. Uh, if you were to take off the whole caliper, there is, I think, a 17 millimeter bolt in the back. And it'll be on really tight. And you probably will need a breaker bar. My, since I don't have a breaker bar right now, I'll, you know, you can use a cheater bar. I have this extendable ratchet. So let's see how this goes. What is it on there? This, this extendable bar got it. These are only at about. 25 psi. I mean, 25 foot pounds. So, so I'm gonna just take off the bolt, and then I'm gonna fold this up like a clamshell. Be wary of the brake line here. Don't twist it. You'll be in a world of hate. So, bolt out, bolt out, and. Now this should, should, yeah, just crumbed up a clamshell. And I've got my bungee cord here to uh, hold it up by the struts here. So in order to do this, actually you have to take off the top one too because this brake line isn't long enough. It won't stretch. So, uh, here we go. Point. Need to uh, open up the new pads and make sure they're the same. Comes with, this one comes with new hardware. Um, I'm uh, uh, taking out the old pads and then matching them up to the new pads. Here's a new pad. This is the old pad. Uh, they aren't terrible, but uh, um, see the wear indicator. Well, you need to, and then you just you need you're gonna need to match them up and I'm sorry I got the sunlight on me I'm doing this outside today so uh, you gotta look at all the little grooves so you put it over like this over the old one and look at them and make sure they match and they do to me they, they match let me see. <laughs> I 
Yeah, these just slip on after a careful examination. They just go in like this. And uh, that should be it. Just, just make sure you compare them to the old ones. Old ones here and a new one. They look alike now. So I'm going to set that down on the inside because that's where it goes. I keep my parts organized so I remember where they go. This goes on the inside. This one goes on the outside. Um, so and that's, that's the wear indicator. Got new hardware as well. To get these, now we got to figure out which ones of these new stainless steel clips goes where. Um, so let's t let's focus on just one and take out the bottom one first. You should just sna uh, snap off. You need a screwdriver. Just grab it, a screwdriver, and pry it out. Pry them out and let's go look at the new hardware. Which one of these matches? Okay, here's the old one. Oops. Look at it like this. No. Yeah, these match. Look at that hole there, here and here. That's how you can kind of tell. And then also look at the uh, these parts here. Um, so that's this one. This goes in the bottom. Now, uh, I've, I've sprayed this with brake clean and used a wire brush to clean it up. Uh, now you need to put some of this brake lubricant on it uh, just here Try not to get it on the disc if you do wipe it get it off with some brake clean and then we're gonna put on the, the Put put back put on the new hardware goes on like that So Alternatively, you can apply it to uh, this as well. The bottom one's in there. Now, got to get the top, the top uh, hardware out. Same way, just use a screwdriver and it'll pry out. So, and then clean it up. Now we match up. This is the old one. Let's see if I can. This is the old one. Uh, and it's just, the way it was on there was was like this. Here's a, a new one that looks alike. So this is going to be the new one. Now I got the top clips on. These slide pins are free, so I don't need to re-grease them. Very important. Got to stick the brakes on. Um, these have a special clip here. They go in and these places, I'll show you that later. It can make, it makes this job a lot more difficult because what it does is it's a spring that pushes out the pads. Um, same, uh, same thing on the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in. I might put a little, little loop here, here, and then smear the back of the pad. But like, make sure you're, you put the wear indicator on in the right spot always compare it to the old pad to make sure because it took me a little while to figure out where it went um, I'm used to doing the front so yeah uh, wear indicators go on the bottom oh uh, you can't see it uh, right there they go on the bottom uh, and then you just slide them in now you're gonna have to Clean up the piston, I mean clean up the caliper a little bit and push the piston back in. Push back the piston. 
I've got this big C clamp and some uh, and the old brake pad. You can alternatively get uh, a special brake um, uh, piston tool. Uh, this one, this car doesn't have a special one for the rear brakes. You do them like the same way with the front brakes. Um, so be mindful of watch the boot. Uh, make sure it doesn't look like it's gonna start to tear or something. If not, if it tears, you gotta buy a whole new caliper. And, that, and then bleed the entire brake system. Push back the pistons through uh, now, and now I'm gonna put the calipers back on. Um, they go on at about 25 foot-pounds. Almost forgot one very important thing. These springs go in the pads like this, and they help push the pads out. It, it can be difficult to do this job because you have to kind of, you need like three hands. One to hold this and then one to put the caliper back on. So, and, 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 another, and two to put the caliper back on. So, uh, bear with me. Um, so, this is what, uh, when I did the front ones, this is what messed me up so much. So, I got the top spring in there by first getting this caliper on like this. Uh, not Be careful not stretching that. And then sticking it in and then pushing it over into the hole it goes in and then uh, and then once it was the brake it won't come out uh with because it's being held by the caliper i then used my a screwdriver to push it in got to repeat the same process on the bottom part now these are very important but they're makes things a lot more difficult then uh, doing the same thing on the bottom got that spring in and then wiggled it down into this. Now I gotta tighten up the caliper bolts. Looks like this side's done. Just gotta go do, repeat this on the other side. I will not film that. I gotta put the tire on and you gotta pump the brakes. Hey, I know I said uh, these are supposed to be diag uh, horizontal. Actually, they're diagonal because of the way the grooves are here. This is the other side. So um, it's just, uh, let me see where. This, see how this is that way. It's got a little groove here that slides into, so make sure it goes in that way. The bottom one does something similar. Um, let me see if I can get a. Uh, I can't see what I'm filming, so hopefully that yeah, helps. I'm back in the car, gonna pump my brakes. Yeah, I got a brake pedal. Uh, hopefully uh, I did it right. So let's see. Pumping the pedals. I got a pedal. I'm going to go for a little drive and uh, see how it is later.